I woke up very early this day to relish the beauty of morning on Brett's relative's farm. I hope these beginning clips helped you to experience the sounds, sights, and peace that I felt watching the world come to life in this quiet place. We visited with family for a few days, and on our last morning, I decided to do a quick watercolor sketch of their house on the hill. If you're new here, Hi, I'm Ashley, and I've been sharing my art journey the past few months with such an amazing community of friends on here, and I hope you'll join us. In my last vlog, I talked about how watercolor sketching from life is a great way for me to prepare for larger oil paintings in my studio. So today, I want to share my entire process of creating large artworks and the steps I use to make it seem less daunting. I want to take a second to thank Ritual for being the sponsor of today's video. I've been taking Ritual's Clinical Backed Multivitamin Essential for Women 18 Plus. I've recently become pescatarian, and while I try to have a balanced diet, some nutrients are hard to get from food alone. So these multivitamins really help me fill in those nutrient gaps with nine key ingredients in just two daily capsules. My favorite thing about Rituals is that they're USP verified, meaning what's on their label is what's in the product. It may seem obvious, but not all vitamins are USP verified, so you may not know what you're getting. Their subscription supplement supports you, giving you the flexibility you want and the consistency you need to turn healthy habits into a ritual. You can use code ASHLEY20 for 20% off your first month. I really enjoyed making that little watercolor painting, but I did notice a few things I would do differently in the larger piece, like bringing in more yellows in the grass to show the sun on the hayfields and making the house sit further back in the composition. But that's the great thing about doing sketches to prepare. You're able to discover those issues before you invest in a larger piece. this frame since we moved into this apartment and I haven't done anything with it yet. I got it at a thrift store down in Florida actually 
for only $10. And as you can tell from me sitting next to it, it's huge. $10 for a frame like this at this size was like an amazing deal. And so I've kept it around for the past few months trying to figure out what I want to do with it. And I've decided that it would look perfect over the fireplace. So I'm going to try to paint my own landscape to go inside of it. Something really peaceful and calm that will be really nice to look at and match well with the color palette that's already in the living room. I'm sorry if you know anything about like actually framing art because I'm sure I'm gonna make a mess of this in my little DIY job. But I'm excited to do a big painting again. I've been painting smaller for so long now and it's been great, but I feel like I'm finally ready to tackle a big painting. Because I'm painting on such a large surface, I needed to put the picture frame on my easel since it was the only thing I had that was big enough to tape my paper to. I'm painting on Reeves BFK watercolor paper that I've gessoed three times. I bought this paper when I did my gallery wall paintings and it's surprisingly a little small for this frame, but I think I can still make it work. The most important thing for me when tackling a large painting is doing a lot of preparation in sketches and studies. I did a few different thumbnail sketches to help me determine what composition and value structures would work best. The watercolor sketch I did earlier served as a great color study and helped me capture how the scene looked and felt when I was there in the moment. These sketches really take a lot of pressure off the final product. I'm now working from reference pictures I took when I was there, but having that initial plein air painting experience really helped me understand the scene and how I wanted to portray it in oil paints. I ended up combining elements from two different pictures I took to make the composition more interesting and add some depth to the view. Let me know in the comments if you prefer to follow reference photos strictly, or if you like to change them to suit your needs too.
I don't even know what to say. I already gave you my long, sappy thank you a few videos ago, but this just came in and I'm speechless. Um, so just thank you. I'm really happy that I'm able to keep making these videos for you. It's become such a passion of mine and just another creative outlet that allows me to learn new skills and try out new techniques and just see the world in a beautiful way and capture that and share it with you all. Another thing I did to prepare for this large painting was plan out my color scheme ahead of time. I knew I wanted the colors to give off a sense of peace and replicate the emotions I felt that morning when I was up early enjoying nature and feeling like I was alone in the world. So I kept the landscape color mostly analogous and a little muted. I also added this huge billowing cloud into the sky to give it a more dreamy, peaceful feeling. Completing large artworks can be very daunting, but taking the time to plan out compositions, value scales, and color schemes beforehand helps to take away a lot of the unknowns and solves many issues before you face them on the final piece. Of course, no amount of preparation will take away every possible issue, so it's important to be flexible and willing to adapt. A few weeks later, I decided to paint the entire original backing and artwork white, but it didn't look right to me and distracted from the piece. So I decided to bring the matte border back in by painting it a dark green color. I think this ended up matching well with the fireplace colors too.
Thanks for all your kind comments. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. You can follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to in my studio on a daily basis.